What's up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games Scratch with another cool video back in Planet Coaster and uh, I'm back in this area again for the final time, at least for now. Um, so in this episode we're actually going to finish up this area with some plants and foliage and uh, some doodads here and there. So this is going to be the um, final episode for this area until of course we get back to some detailing stuff as well. So, in this episode, uh, probably around midway, we actually do start on the new area of the park as well. <clears throat> so, that's kind of fun and something different for a change, right? Because we've been in the same park, part of the park, for the longest time, and I'm excited to get to some new things. So, it ends up turning out uh, almost completely the way that I wanted it to in the long run, so... There might be something I might add later on, but for right now, it's it's decent, pretty good. And uh, as for the new area, um, it actually does end up looking kind of naked and stuff compared to this area, simply because it's a new area that I'm starting. So uh, a lot of foliage and trees just <laughs> complete the area, and I was hoping it would do that, and it pretty much delivered on that part. So uh, as you can see, it looks pretty good. <clears throat> I think those two flat rides really complement the coaster, and uh, all the buildings around do as well, and it becomes a pretty nifty area that I think hopefully a lot of guests will still walk through. Um, uh, uh, the I have opened the park, or, or the park has been running a little bit because I was doing some minor testing, and uh, some guests are already in the park, which they haven't been able to walk this far uh, anyway, so... Uh, we'll figure that out later. And I'd like to figure out what the park looks like in the dark, but I'm not sure at this point because uh, I haven't actually viewed this uh, park in the dark yet. So hopefully we will do that uh, soon. And I can adjust the lighting and stuff and add some really cool spotlights on the coaster to make it look even better at night. So um, pretty much... Uh, just more foliage and on this uh, surrounding the coaster that way it's surrounded by uh, kind of some wood woods area and stuff like that and um, so I officially have decided that the next coaster to uh, go down will be a B&M dive coaster and uh, I don't think anyone will have any objections to that because it's a pretty uh, pretty awesome ride and uh, I want to make it kind of different than every other dive coaster you've seen uh, in the world because they're all pretty much clones and I want to create something that's a little bit different and uh, will hopefully turn out nice and uh, I don't have a whole lot of it's gonna be a challenge because I have um, some issues still trying to create my own custom inversions and stuff like that um, but I've been getting better and, pract and practicing so hopefully I'll be able to create something nice and I won't stop until I do so but anyways, just a couple perimeter fences here to finish up and, um, whoops, just hit the microphone and just pretty much get the area all nifty. So, uh, yeah, so it looks pretty good from, uh, my perspective and I hope you guys enjoy too. A lot of people have been wanting to see a POV, I know, people complain about that all the time, but again, I always say the same thing, uh, I'll save it for the cinematic video. Um, simply because it'll, it's a nice little surprise to see what it looks like and um, I feel like that's the point of the cinematic videos is to show off all the POV footage and the finished product. This is simply just to show you the process of building such things and plus I'm in a time lapse. I mean I could show you the POV but it's not going to look as good because it won't be real time and uh, I know you could say we'll just edit where that part's real time but again I'm I just like having saving the POVs and stuff for the cinematic video at the end, which I will have in <clears throat> on my channel. So I I'm commended to finishing this park, um, unlike previous uh, parts where I haven't. So now we get into the new area, and the first thing I want to do is plop down a n fresh new flat ride, kind of like what I did for the pirate ship, and it's going to be kind of the centerpiece kind of of the area in a way with a coaster off to the side as well as its own area, kind of. So I was like, maybe I can try this giant swing uh, deal, but uh, I was hoping to be able to build 
um, some buildings on the sides of it, but that did not work out, so I was like, what could I put in here? And in the end, I actually decided to put the forge, and I thought it was a pretty strong ride to put in this, um, uh, this spot right here. So I uh, went ahead and went with it at the moment, and uh, after starting a new area, I felt everything was like s just so naked because there was absolutely nothing here and uh, started on a new area. Instead of detailing, I finally get to start on something new, which is nice. <coughs> so the first thing, of course, you have to get done is the path work, and uh, the path work has to be, uh, in a way, you know, uh, kind of flexible and be able to have a lot of pathways. So I like to have my flat rides kind of in the middle, and I think it's kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, it fits in pretty well. And it just looks so naked and terrible before you actually add, add scenery. So I'm like, gotta get scenery on this quick. And, um, I always love doing rock work for the elevated paths. I think they it works pretty well on making your elevated paths look really nice. So, again, I did explain that I do want to add water in the future of this park uh, when there's water available. And I might use a placeholder until that happens. It's the same with the water rides. Um, I'll leave some space probably for water rides. And um, kind of have like an updated version of the park later on. So, But anyways, I decided to go ahead and create a covered part for the queue line. And uh, nothing, nothing too fancy. Just, you know, kind of like some uh, wooden beams with a, with a roof pretty much. Uh, just something very simple since it's not one of the giant major attractions. It's a big attraction, but not the major. It's not a roller coaster <laughs> in that matter. And later I probably will decorate this a little bit better in the end because I think I do kind of just leave it at this for right now, which is kind of boring in a way. <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, that will be have to be touched on later, um, but for right now, um, it gets the job done. And I was like, why don't I add a nice little centerpiece here in the uh, right before the queue line, and uh, kind of another fountain, something that's kind of simple, nothing too fancy, but another little piratey fountain uh, to give it that little theme. <clears throat> but again, I do love these VFX. V effects. I think uh, the work very well for the parks and um, I would just love the effects that they give and hopefully that we can sync those up with some rides eventually and I'm sure we will be able to in the long run uh, once uh, updates start coming out more so um, I can't wait till Alpha 3 I'll be sure to get on Alpha 3 as quick as I can when that arrives so uh, I'll, you're gonna see a lot of theming of me replacing these golden arches with uh, rock work. I think they work pretty well as some interesting entrances, especially for this kind of park, and uh, I figured it would work well here as well. Uh, because I don't really care for the golden arches, and I'm glad they're going to be getting rid of them here pretty soon as well. So, um, uh, I, this is the last episode that I have recorded since uh, I'm recording, uh, or actually editing this video. So, um, I have some more recording to do. Uh, so, I am, it's kind of caught up in a way, and I, I usually do like maybe like five episodes per recording se session and just get a lot of recording done. And uh, it works pretty cool. And on the outside of this pathway this is going to be the entrance for the dive coaster when we get along to that. But uh, I decided to go ahead and do some more buildings and just kind of work. Uh, around the pathways and fill them up in a little bit since it is kind of naked in this area at the moment so I thought the bathrooms would be a good addition because their other bathrooms are nowhere near this area so it would be a pretty good placement um, just a and I decided to make it pretty much a simple building uh, for the most part <laughs> nothing too fancy and uh, that's how most of my buildings actually end up coming out but they still look pretty decent in my opinion and then I wanted to create some uh, uh, building that is not an actually accessible to guests, but um, just kind of a for show restaurant type of deal. So it's going to have like an outdoor eating area. Um, 
pretty much, and it's gonna work as a restaurant, in a way, with a covered uh, dock out here, which will serve as kind of the outdoor eating experience here at this park. <coughs> and it will have two levels as well. And that's how this building works out. I thought it was a uh, pretty, you know, d decent idea since I didn't have it in the park yet. Or something like this in the park yet. Um, and it is just for show in the long run because there's no restaurants in the game yet. Or anything of that matter. And I guess I could have added something uh, in a way, but I decided not to. And just kind of leave it as more of a facade type thing. And it's not real, but uh, it, te it is real. But it's not real, in a way. <laughs> it's real, but guests can't actually use it. It's just kind of a full show thing to uh, kind of resemble a actual theme park, in a way. So, whoops. Just need to stop seeing around and hitting my microphone. And um, I wouldn't have to hurt your ears at all, so. But, uh, again, I do need to test this park out in, at night to see how well the paths are lit up. I'll probably have to add some pathway lights in the end, um, because I do put a lot of lanterns on a lot of the buildings, so that is kind of a plus there, but um, I think all I do after I get this building finished is about it on this episode. I think that's about all I get done is uh, this building, and um, we'll move on to the next episode next time, and um, <clears throat> I haven't placed any, uh, any like, chairs or benches or something. I hope they get path elements in the game um, pretty soon um, because that's kind of a crucial part, uh, obviously. And uh, this is kind of a double-decker restaurant, so you have one level on the bottom and another level at the top, so uh, it will turn out to be pretty cool and a nice little uh, restaurant that people can enjoy and eat at, you know, even at a high level to, you know, they can watch people on the forge and um, uh, creating steps. Uh, can sometimes be a pain if you don't know how to do them like me, obviously. But um, they are very nicely to get done um, in this way. And then I just had some issues with the path work, trying to figure out how to at least get the path kind of next to it to, so it looks like it's accessible when it really isn't. <clears throat> but uh, in the end, I do end up finding a way to make it look like it's synced up with the path. So that worked out. But that's it for the episode, and I hope you guys have a great day and an even cooler tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.